So in this video, I'm going to make a small compact barbecue out of this aircon gas cylinder. Let's get building. So firstly, I will need to remove the handles of the Freon tank. So I've hit it with a hammer and a chisel to loosen it a slight bit. Just gonna wiggle it off and then in a moment Ta-da! So next, I'm going to have to cut off the valve of the bottle. Now, before this, I am going to use the little holes that were formed here where this was welded onto. I'm going to open this, let every little bit of gas escape, fill it with water, empty the water, and then cut it off. Okay, so now that the tank's nozzle is cut off, I'm going to make two foot pieces. Now what I've done, I've taken two pieces of flat bar, I've marked about almost three inches from both sides for the feet part or for the leg part. I've clamped the piece of angle iron in my homemade vise. Uh, by the way, if you want to see the video of how I made this vise, check in the description below, I'll put a link over there. After you clamp it in the vise like this, with the marks level to the vise's jaws, you then bend it violently with a hammer, like such. And once it's violently bent with a hammer like that, you take it out, and this is what the footpiece will look like. Now obviously you can bend this to shape a bit, depending on the angle you prefer, and then, this would comfortably go on top of the tank like this. So I'm just going to bend the other one and then I'll weld both of these in place. So let me get to work on that. Okay, so the two foot pieces have been welded on. They're fairly sturdy. This thing stands nice and steady now. No wobbly or anything. So now it's time to mark the lines where I plan to cut this thing. So, I'm going to use a box like this, just for spacing. I'm going to cover it slides, cut it slightly above the center line, just so that the bottom is a slight bit bigger and the lid doesn't quite have to be as big. So, let's see how this goes. Do like this. Right, so that's the center line, or not the center line, but the lid line all around. But I'm thinking of something else now. I think I might want to make the back side a slight bit higher than the front side. So it's got a bit of a windshield, sort of, um, should you want to open this. And then maybe cut it down the side a bit. So let me quickly size that up a bit uh, and measure. And uh, then we'll get right back to it. Alright, so what I've done at the back is I've simply drawn a line parallel a bit higher than the bottom one, obviously parallel to the bottom one, mm -hmm. and then more or less just behind the center I've uh, made a point on that line, similar on the other side, and I then just simply extended the line like that. So if you look at this you're going to see the profile of the lid, and obviously the hinges will be on the back side here, so if I open the lid it's going to have a slight bit of a, a wedge at the back more sort of like a, a windshield if you can call it like that so that you can if you position this you can put it against the wind and the wind won't be blowing your your meat or whatever cold that you're going to be barbecuing on this thing 
So now that that is done, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm probably going to cut this upper line here where the hinges are going to be. I'm not going to cut it all the way through yet. I'm only going to cut this line where the hinges need to be. And once that line is cut, I'm only going to mount the hinges first and then cut the rest of the line. So let me get cutting and get that welded and we'll take it from there. Alright, so as you can see I've welded the two hinges onto the lid here after I've cut the one line. After I welded them on I cut the rest of the lid open, which now works like this. Now if you have a look on the front side, you'll see that it's slightly higher at the back than at the front. So where the grill will more or less be this height, this will be a semi or a slight wind deflector. So the wind can't get over your meat or whatever you are grilling at the moment. Now, obviously this still has to be rounded and I still have to work the edges off. Now, for the handle for the lid, I used two pieces of flat steel. Um, I just drew a, a pattern there for the two handle brackets that I'm planning on welding on the lid like this. And then for the handle itself, just a normal piece of dowel stick, which you'll see there's rounded edges from there, which will be then screwed onto the edge. And I'll just round the edges off over there so it's going to be round and nice and streamlined. So this will be welded there with the handle in between and that will be used to lift this up and down. So let me get this welded on there and once that's welded on um, I'll mount or cut the, the dowel stick to size and I'll mount the dowel stick there with two screws and the reason for screws is should I want to paint it or clean or whatever I can at any stage or if the wood starts to go bad or rotten or damaged after a while, I can unscrew it and just replace it with a new piece. So for now that's it. The feet or the foot pieces are welded in place, the hinges are welded in place, the lid is now operational. Now for the handle, and after the handle, we will take it a bit further. So, let me get it. Okay, so, that is done. I've cleaned the front lid, I've etched, I've made the sides a bit smoother, so it's no longer that sharp. And I've um, attached or welded, the TIG welded in place, the two sides for the handle. And I've cut the piece of dial stick and I've attached the handle. So this works very now, nice and uh, efficient now. So, I reckon that's mostly it for the shell of this body unit. Especially, oh, well, except of course for rounding it off a bit and giving it a nice paint coat because it doesn't look that good at the moment regards to paint. Inside is still fairly new. So the next thing I'm going to have to need to do is maybe in the bottom of the two sides just drill a few holes for air ventilation pour the, pour the coals and chocolate at the bottom so they can get some fresh air to burn and then the two next step will be to make a grill and as well as some, some stands for the grill to lay on top. So let me start drilling holes and working on the grill. I'll show you the grill once I've started working on it and then we'll take it from there again. Okay, so here's the final product. Um, the handle in front, I've given it a light coat of varnish so it's a bit protected. Um, you can see on the side I've drilled a bunch of holes on both sides for ventilation for the coals at the bottom. So that should work just fine. On the inside, I welded in place two supports for the grill. Um, for the grill, I used an old barbecue grill which I just then cut to size and the four corners I bent over and just welded the points into place. The reason for the bent corners are so that they fit into the oddly shaped cylinder like this. Um, but what I also found is if you want to take this out and put it on the countertop, it keeps it lifted from the countertop so it, your meat and whatever is not, if you want, maybe want to adjust your coals a bit, won't be touching the ground or the table or anything like that. So that's quite handy. So that goes in there. Uh, the lid is, I painted the whole thing. I've also added two handles, the handle that I took um, off in the beginning of the top of the canister. I've added um, on the sides basically, I've cut it in half, added one on each side so I could carry this thing around. Now for the paint effect I gave it a lightly hammered effect. I did that by simply taking a piece of sponge, dipping it in the paint and painting it this way. Jabbing the paint all over the place, give it a bit rougher look so it's not a smooth finish. So that's basically the whole project. Um, it's painted, the feet and everything. Um, this is a heat resistant paint so it shouldn't peel off once you make fire in it which is very good. Um, 
and maybe a bit later on I'll consider making a smaller grill in the bottom to hold the coal so it doesn't burn the the, the cylinder through quite that quickly but we'll, I'll get to that a bit in the future for now this is more than sufficient this is exactly what I wanted it to look like so if you like this project and you like this video be sure to like it and um, also consider subscribing if you haven't done so yet so I'll see you in the next video thank you very much guys